Hey, it's Rob with Fandroid.com. We're here at the HTC booth within the Android booth um, at Mobile World Congress. We're here with the three new Android phones they announced, all running Android 4.0, the HTC One X, HTC One S, and HTC One V. Uh, one thing we want to show you guys uh, that we just got a demonstration of is the new uh, camera UI on HTC Sense. So if we jump into the camera, there are a few really cool features. Um, most that you can hear in the background, the continuous uh, the continuous yeah. shooting. So three main features um, that are new. Uh, one is while you're recording video, you can take a picture. So this on the back is an eight megapixel camera. Um, but if you want to start recording, while you're recording, say something happens that you want a still picture of, you can snap a picture of it. You can see in the bottom right, there it comes up and goes directly to your gallery. So while you're taking video, you can still capture still images. So that's one uh, one feature that's pretty cool. Another one is if you hold down the shutter button, right, you uh, you can take up to 99 pictures in a row. And by default, it's set to 20. But and I think that you might need to turn the volume up here. It's a full megapixel. Back out. No, no, you're right. Is that it? Okay. I couldn't hear it that sound actually. Oh, there we go. So then it saves all these pictures. We can go into the gallery. And how did you do the multi-delete? So if you then select any any one of the photos, just click delete. It will then bring up all the photos that you've just shot, and you can then just select. So when you take 99 in a row, you don't have to delete them. You're gonna have a fair few to play around with, yeah. But then I guarantee you, from those 99, you're probably gonna find a decent shot. Yeah, absolutely. Or it's cool for people like people are blinking, or of course they're not smiling. Exactly. And, and so yeah, you can yeah. take a ton and yeah. then get the one you want. Um, the other thing was the, the panoramic. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'll go to settings. Ah, okay. Oh, that's kind of Okay. Last time it was dots, you said, right? It, yeah, what, what used to happen is you used to have a dot in interface and you would line up the dot. Now it's just the actual square the of the image. And this is actually, I think it's better because you can, um, it's if you start it over here, so that's where it begins. And now you go one way or the other, and you can see that white box, so just line the box up. And there's five images now. It used to be three. So it stitches the photos together. So one thing it does now is it takes you straight back to the UI. So whereas before it would show the image, then it would dip back to um, into the camera. So now you can just literally review it much much easier now by just clicking on there, and it'll then give you the full review. So you can then pitch to zoom in. Very cool. We get a bit of movement here and <laughs> bring some interesting photos. The matrix face. A little bit. There's one other really cool feature which I haven't mentioned to you guys okay. yet, um, which is around around the flash. So, obviously, we'll all have experienced it at some point. You're in a club, you're into it, and you know, it's dark, so you've got two options. You've either got people hardly be able to see them because it's dark, or they're so overexposed that they're, they're completely white. So, one of what we've done with the new flash on here now is it will work in conjunction with the lens when you're taking a photo, and it will analyze how far away the subject is from the lens, and therefore it will then adapt how much flash it uses. So, if you're someone's right next to you and you're taking a photo, it will soften the flash, if they're further away, it will use more power. Awesome. The other thing is that obviously, you know, if it's using a softer flash, it will use less battery as well. So the, the, the smarter flash is on here, absolutely superb. It really does add that just that little extra feature um, onto the UI. And the other thing was that um, I forgot to mention, which you told us about, was the, the uh, autofocus. Correct. And it, so this will autofocus in 0.2 seconds, and it takes you 0.3 seconds to blink your eye. Awesome. So it will autofocus quicker than the blink of an eye. So potentially from the lock screen, you should be able to access into the camera in around about 0.7 seconds, autofocus in 0.2 seconds. So potentially you could go from the lock screen to taking a photo in less than a second. Less than a second, awesome. Great, well this has been a demonstration of uh, HTC Sense on Android 4.0 and the new camera features on the HTC One X, One S and One V. Thanks a lot.